Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome again, my new students, eighth grade students. Of course, we are still in Unit 7. Today, we are on Student Walk, page 79, Workbook, page 70. This is Language Focus 2. Of course, this is the second part of Language Focus 1. Both lessons are about the present perfect. We started last time with present perfect for affirmative and negative sentences and of course today we are talking about the present perfect for questions of course students would be able to recognize the form and structure of a present perfect questions complete questions the questions using the correct form of the verb at the end of this lesson students would be able to recognize the difference between past simple and present perfect two different tenses and produce their own present perfect questions and answers so of course this is on your student book page 79 here's the present perfect questions of course we are supposed to start with exercise number one which is taken from listening on page 78 before we start doing the exercises, let's remember together the present perfect form. Last time we started with a presentation about the present perfect. So let's remember together what is the present perfect sample. So here was the presentation. Of course, we started with the form of the present perfect sample. We said that the form starts from the affirmative this is the form of affirmative sentences we have the subject and have or has past participle what about the negative or the interrogative which is our lesson today we start with the modal verb which is have with the auxiliary sorry here this is not a model have or has the subject then past participle so this is the opposite order instead of starting with the subject we start with the have or has then past participle this is yes no question of course if you have wh question you should start with the question word then we have have or has and past participle have or has the subject then past participle of course don't forget that has is used with he she and it what about the negative this is the form of the negative we have the subject have not or has not and past participle So today we will uh, complete with the interrogative form. Of course, we will talk about the questions in the present perfect. Remember the uses of the present perfect. We said that one of the most important uses is to for an action that happened in the past, but which results are obvious in the present. So we use it for everything which is from the past which is related to the present so this car was cleaned in the past but now well, you can see it's clean that's why we say he has washed he has cleaned the car number two for an action that has just finished so mark is having lunch he has just had lunch So of course just is used for the present perfect third example or third use for an action that started in the past and hasn't finished so we bought the house in 2000 we still live in the neighborhood we have lived here for 20 years we have lived here since 2000 so of course we are supposing that the present is 2020, 2020. So this is the difference between the past simple and the present perfect. 
In the present perfect, this is in 2000, so the event happened, started and finished in the past at a specific time. In the present perfect, we're talking about something from the past which is related to the present. Of course, foreign sense is used with the present perfect. For experiences we have or we haven't lived. When you talk about the whole of your past life, from the past up till now, you use the present perfect. Have you ever traveled? Have you ever traveled by plane? I'm asking you about the whole of your life from the past up till now. Okay, so these were different examples taken from last times. Rules, let's go straight to your student book, page 79. We start from number one, of course. We have the questions, WH questions, where have most accidents happened. Of course, have is used with the pronouns I, we, you, they. He, she, et is used with has. What has he injured? Of course, this is something that has happened in the past at at and specific time. That's why we use the present perfect. Where have most accidents happened? And what has he injured? In number one, of course, we have have had. Have you ever had an accident in the kitchen? Have you ever had an accident in the kitchen? The short answers would be Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Have you ever had? It means the whole of your life from the past up till now. What about the pronouns he, she and it? Of course, in number four, the question should start with has he had any accident this year? It means from the beginning of this year so far up till now so this is a present perfect it's not past simple yes he has of course we use the same model the same helping verb that we started the question with what about exercise two look at exercise two write questions with the correct form of the present perfect and ever so ever is a keyword for the present perfect because you are talking about the period from the past up till now. Every past which is related to the present is a present perfect. So, have you ever lost your keys is number one. Now, please stop here. Try to make similar questions. Like number two, look at number two. Have your parents ever lived in another city? Ever, it means from the time so far. What about three? Now, your best friend is singular, so what's the helping verb here used here is Has your best friend ever been to another country? Here, of course, four, five, and six. Have you ever slipped on anything? Has your dad ever won a competition? Have you ever watched an important sports? So, we start with have or has subject ever and past participle okay number three work with a partner ask and answer the question in exercise one if you just like a conversation we come to number four this is the second part of our lesson today the past simple and the present perfect so What's the difference between both tenses? Of course, here are the rules. We said that the past simple is used to talk about a specific time in the past. It's a finished action. The present perfect is a past which is related to the present. So, look at the examples from listening or these examples are taken from the listening so here are the rules we use that to say when when something happened 
So when you talk about a specific time, that's when something happened. This is the past simple. So here's number one, of course. We use words like last week, yesterday, two weeks ago. Because you are saying when, so you're not linking this past with the present. But in number two, when we use the, or we use the, of course, the present perfect, if we don't know when something happened, or it's not important when something happened, we use words like ever, never, in the last 10 years, it means from 10 years ago, so far. So it's linked to the present. That's why we use the present perfect. In my life. It means the whole of my life. I'm still alive. So that's why we use the present perfect. Okay. What about the practice? In number five here, you are asked to choose between the present perfect and past simple. Of course, if you are talking about a specific time in the past, here's past simple, something that happened in the past, but I don't know when exactly, or I don't care, and especially if it's linked with the present, use the present perfect. So, it has stopped raining, let's ride our bikes. Of course, it has stopped, because he doesn't tell me when did it stop. It has stopped. I'm caring about the result that now we don't have rain. I haven't tried, I didn't try snowboarding. I'd love to do that. Of course, I'm talking about the whole of my life. I haven't tried. My mom's has read or read six books when we were on holiday. See, a specific time in the past. That's why we, we use the past symbol. Of course, this is verb two. This is read, not read. They have the same spelling, but different pronunciation. So, when have you started or when did you start to learn English? So, whenever you ask when, it means I'm asking about a specific time in the past. So that's past simple. When did you start? What about number five? Have you ever had, did you ever have an accident? When you ask someone about his experience, his whole experience, past experience, experiences are linked with the present, with our present lives. That's why we use have you ever had means the whole of your life from the past up till now my brothers finished or has finished or finished primary school a few years ago a specific time so finished that's why we use the past simple okay in number six you are asked to complete the text with the present perfect or past simple you are asked to think about the sentences is it about specific time in the past or is it and specific time in the past my dad and i a lot of mountains were talking about many different experiences that's why we use the present perfect of course here's number one have climbed what about two i when i was 14 I was 14 at a specific time. So here I need the past simple. I started. So stop here again. Please try to choose the suitable tense for each one. But I never have a serious accident. Never is a keyword for the present perfect it means the whole of my life I have never had. After thinking, here are the answers. For example, look at number six. Why do we have the past simple here? Last year, because we start the sentence with last year. So we went to Argentina. What about seven? We would love to go to the Himalayas because we 
have never climbed. We have never climbed. We have never done that the whole of our lives. That's why we use the present perfect. Okay, let's move to your workbook, page 70. What do we have in page 70? Again, you are asked to do more practice. We start with the rules. Choose the rules. What about two? Number two, write questions with the present perfect, then match the questions to the answers. So you are asked to make questions. Of course, here we have yes, no questions. You start with have or has. So has Jack. Then kite surfing is no, he hasn't. So please make questions and match them to the answers. Write questions in the present perfect for these answers. So we have the answers. So you are asked to make questions. Of course, all of them except number four are yes no questions. So number four is not yes no question. Of course, you are asked to make questions for the given answers. Yes, I have. Have you? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you? Again, have you? Again, what's the verb? So you can guess that. And number two, have you ever been to Brazil? Remember last time we said that been, have been to, is different from have gone to. Have been to Brazil, he means that you went to Brazil and you came back. Have you ever? It means the whole of your life. Okay, what about number four? We have the difference between past simple and present perfect. Again, you should think about the difference about uh, the difference between a specific time and the past, which is past simple, or like number one, for example, here's yesterday, so it's past simple, or and specific time and the past. My brother is like three times. When was that? We don't know. That's why we use the present perfect. My brother has broken. Has broken. Okay, what about the last exercise or number five? Compound words match the parts of the compound words. So here we have words which are made of two different words. So forest floor. Of course, you can find these words in your student book reading lesson. So please go forth to the reading lesson, reading text. Try to find these verbs, compound words, complete them. Then, of course, you are asked to use them to do exercise number six. Complete the sentences with the words in exercise five. For example, forest floor. This is everything for today. Of course, we will be together next time. We will do the exercises on this page, page 70, your workbook. Thank you.